Finding Inspiration from Your Aspirations March 4, 2015 Finding what makes you happy is never just about discovering a way to do what you enjoy, but to love what you do at every stage, regardless how dull some of the stages and steps may be. When you love what you do, you are able to find room in your life to exercise and practice what you enjoy, thus considering yourself fortunate to be able to. What is often seen precious hearts is that life often gets in the way. The necessities of life, the service you are obligated to provide and any sudden contingency that occurs ends up overriding what you really want to do, things that you really don't want to do. You sigh, give in, and sometimes give up on what you love to do. It is important to perform your common tasks well and to carry out any obligations that you have with proficiency, but what about you? Should you completely let go of what you love doing? There does come a time in your life when you must evaluate your progress and determine honestly and truthfully where changes need to be implemented and how you will proceed to make them happen. It is here precious ones that you remember you used to enjoy doing certain things but gave them up or put them aside because life became busy. But can't you see dear ones how much your life would benefit from doing what you enjoy the most? even if for a few short moments each day or each week? Putting some time aside to paint, to do some fine dining cooking, to garden, to rock paint, to sculpt, for solitude, to build engines, etc., provides your whole being with so much joy that your soul sings a peaceful tune of serenity. When you apply your energy to something you absolutely love doing, what you do becomes a necessity for your heart and soul, like a reprieve from the chaos of life a way to escape for a few precious moments. It is important precious ones to not reject these moments, these are pure moments of creativity and love coming together harmoniously. Even if your life is filled with many demands and people to deal with, by prioritizing what is important, and letting go what is not dire, you will discover there is room to do what you love. This time with yourself will help you to unwind and remove what was distasteful during the day or week so you may see that even with the upheavals of life, life is also filled with splendor and beauty. Any time you allow yourself to become immersed with what you are doing, your inner person is greatly affected. The mind is not desiring, it is not scheming or planning anything other than working together with the heart that is profoundly connected with your soul to bring forth something of beauty that is creative imaginative, and empowering. When you are doing something you love to do, you don't need another person's approval because you are following the directions of your heart which is always filled with God's loving presence. Sometimes what you love to do requires a little time and practice to make right, just don't be too harsh with yourself on what you are creating. Remember, all things come in time. Make room for sudden changes and for life's little necessities. Continue taking steps working on what you love to do, while fulfilling your practical, day-to-day -day living. You will find yourself looking forward for your mundane work to be done because you are earnestly looking forward to spending some quality time with yourself doing what you love the most. It is not selfish precious ones when you immerse yourself while cooking, gardening, writing, or anything else that you are doing with love, because while you are creating, you are giving your inner self the love and attention that is needed, and healing yourself from the strains and turmoil your day can often provide. You are encouraged to find some time to spend with yourself, doing what you love. If you love serving in your community as a volunteer, then schedule yourself where you are needed the most. If you would like some extra prayer or meditation time, then decide the day and time and stick to it. No matter what it is that you want to do, if you want to bad enough, you will always find a way. It may require you to reorganize what you already do, but when your heart is drawing you towards what it needs for the betterment of your inner and outer life, then you will find planning for such divine moments to be best. After all the giving you do for others, make some time to give to yourself. When you give quality time to yourself, you are telling yourself that you are important. Your life does have value and purpose. You are not here just to be a parent, student, or what your job description tells you. You are here to grow, to evolve, and to become more than you were yesterday. We want you to aspire for excellence in the things that you do, even if they are mundane and boring. 
when you can see the most boring of tasks as something to learn by, tasks that have the potential to help you grow, then imagine how much you can become from learning what you find exciting and necessary to your heart and soul. If you are working doggedly on the spiritual quest and think you are getting nowhere, take some time to look back at how far you have come. There will be plateaus and areas that will feel as if you are not moving. Take this time to look around you, to look behind you, to look what is in front of you, and allow yourself to breathe and to be present not only in body, but in mind, heart and soul. If you feel and know in your heart that you can do something better, then find ways that you know you can do, that will make it so. You have the ability to always enter the creative realm, and every time you do, you improve the quality of your life, beginning with your inner person. Precious ones, love is in you not only to give to others, but to give to yourself, and one of the best ways to share love with yourself is by spending time doing the things you love the most. These become necessities, important in anchoring peace and calm to your mind that filters everywhere you are. You always have had the ability to set aspirations with heart-filled passion that is interwoven with God's own infinite love and healing light. In the midst of your aspirations of doing what you love, you will find inspiration that will empower you onward in presence of the here and now with pure love in every step and breath. Further develop your aspirations so you can empower and inspire yourself doing the things you love most, and when you do, you are demonstrating great love and respect for your whole self, and this precious ones is bliss for your beautiful soul. And so it is. I am Lady Leto, through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com